tonight. Most of you probably know a lady who gets her nails done and uses the nail dryer in the salon. But did you know medical experts believe those nail dryers may increase your risk of skin cancer? Jane Boachiri plays golf three times a week. Despite wearing a hat and glasses and golf gloves, Jane is constantly battling skin lesions that have turned into skin cancer. It'll start like a, a very small pimple, uh, and it will hurt to the touch, and then it grows quite quickly. And if left untreated, they can kill you. I can always remember saying, well, this is self-inflicted. That's because Jane, like many of us, was a sun worshiper. But there are other sources of exposure to ultraviolet radiation, such as uh, tanning beds, sun lamps, and UV um, nail dryers. Yes, these small boxes used to quickly dry nail polish are the latest to make news as a potential cancer risk. A study last year in the archives of dermatology found two cases of healthy middle-aged women without family histories of skin cancer developed non-melanoma skin cancers on their hands. The most common type of skin cancer that occurs on the hands is squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, squamous cell carcinoma often begins as a red, scaly, rough patch that can progress into a firm bump that may sometimes break down and bleed. George Ann Cleegan has been getting her nails done with UV lights for 10 years. As for it causing skin cancer, she says... I don't think it, it will. Happen, no. So you'll keep getting them done? Yes. Mm-hmm. And Helena, who works at Tampa's Tips and Toes, says she's been doing nails. More than 15 years and we never have any problems. But this doctor just wants consumers to be aware there is a very real risk. The United States Department of Health and Human Services has classified ultraviolet light as a carcinogen or a cancer-causing agent. So repeat exposure over a prolonged period of time could increase your risk to develop uh, skin cancer. Well, the doctor says typical treatment for skin cancer on the hands is surgical removal under local anesthetic in the dermatologist's office. But if left untreated, that cancer could spread to other parts of your body and eventually lead to death.